Hello folks, I was just uh, tinkering on the computer a little while ago and got to thinking whatever happened to the type of westerns that you could take the whole family to root for the hero maybe hear a good country song in the country western song in the, the uh, movie and laugh the old sidekick who you knew was going to mess up somewhere along the line but he was as loyal to the main characters as the main character's dog you know whatever happened to Taking the old Winchester, this is empty, defending the ranch, riding off in the sunset with the girl, <laughs> or taking the old six gun, whether it be a cartridge one like that, which is also empty. Or, you know, the sidekick had something that would draw the attention that maybe he's been out there a little too long. Had the old cap and ball, which this is also unloaded because I don't want the powder chewing up the steel. But they took care of their horses. They took care of their holsters, their equipment, and you can look up to them. Movies that I've seen come out of Hollywood or Hollyweird nowadays, I wouldn't take my kids to. Even the so-called westerns that they've been coming out with are focused on the blood and gore. They're not focused on something that you could take the family to enjoy the movie say hey that was worth seeing that was worth my money now I hear they're digging up uh, story after story of shall we say garbage that shouldn't even be going on legally in Hollywood. People being abused. Try to, they try to get into the business and they're basically run out of the business because they want to do it honestly and the producers and whoever else want to do the casting call on the couch. I'd like to see a western where you can depend on a sad kick, whether it be somebody like old Gabby Hayes or uh, Walter Brennan. You remember those guys, they're gone. But I'm sure there's somebody out there that could do a good sidekick. And there's got to be somebody out there who's a good actor and might even be able to carry a tune and can ride a horse and not backwards, tell the front end from the back end of the horse so he's not feeding the wrong end. Well, to borrow a line from Walter Brennan, I just ain't no good without my dad gum coffee. I'm gonna have some coffee with you. But whatever happened to common sense in Hollywood? It went out the door years ago, right after World War II. I'm not that old, but I do remember watching 
movies from knee high to a grasshopper. My dad exposed me to movies from How the West Was Won to <clears throat> Rooster Cogburn. And I've seen Roy Rogers in the movies. I've seen the old uh, Gene Autry movies. They were worth watching. They weren't filled with blood and gore. A lot of the John Wayne movies, you got the implication that the person was shot, but you didn't get the blood, the gore, the stuff that makes you want to puke that you get in these new movies. And that's my take on westerns and what's coming out of Hollywood. I'd like to see him make a western that you could take the whole family to, come whistling out the door, the main theme, and be proud you've seen it and feel like an American again. Well, you all have a good day. I've had my opinion here.